What is a function in less than five minutes? According to me, a function is a relation in which each member of the domain maps to exactly one member of the range. So you could also go to other places on the web, like here's the wiki definition for a function. If you want to go into more detail, um, definitely Wolfram Math World's a great place to get definitions mathematically. And uh, I always like to use Wolfram Alpha. Um, Wolfram, this one's kind of nice because you just type in the word and it gives, it'll give you um, lots of meanings, both mathematical and non-mathematical. So um, those are some pla other places to go to get the definition. But let's just get kind of a basic idea of what it is. So first off, a relation is a set of ordered pairs. So for example, two, if you have an input of two, I have it underlined here, you get an output of three. If you have an input of five, your domain's five, your range is two. If you have an out input of negative three, your output's one. And if you have an input of four, you have an output of three. So let's look at what this is as a mapping. Okay, so domains are listed. That's all the first numbers in your ordered pair. You got negative three, two, four, and five. And then your range, 1, 2, and 3. So let's map the first one. Input of 2 gives an output of 3. So that's what that mapping looks like. Input of 5 gives an output of 2. Input of negative 3 gives an output of 1. And input of 4 gives an output of 3. So this is a function. Every member of the domain matches to exactly one member of the range. Where we run into problems is if we would add the ordered pair 4, 5 to our relation it is now no longer a function. And here's why. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, if you have, I'll list my domains and my ranges again, um, just like we did before, and do the mapping. So 2 goes to 3, 5 goes to 2, negative 3 goes to 1, 4 goes to 3. And then 4 goes to 5. Okay, the problem with this is, is this 4 going to 3 and 4 going to 5 breaks my definition. 4 no longer maps to exactly one range. It maps to two ranges. So that is why it is not a function. So here it is graphically. And what we have, I've, I went ahead and did my original points as smiley faces and then that extra four or five point I did it as a flower and so if you look at this four three is this smiley face four five is this flower and they line up over the top of each other um, one X gives me two Y values this is called failing the vertical line test and so anytime you have ordered pairs or points that line up um, vertically it is not a function. So what if your domain is a set of all real numbers and your codomain is a set of all real numbers? Now a list of ordered pairs is no longer appropriate. So we can also use formulas to represent functional relationships. And GeoGebra here does a good job of that. So here I have a GeoGebra example where y equals x squared plus 1. This is a basic, uh, a basic uh, parabola. And if you notice, every member of the domain matches to exactly one member of, of the Y. Where we run into problems is in the next example where we have, where we have a circle and it's X squared plus Y squared is equal to 16. In this case, um, we've got uh, members of the domain like negative 1 here maps to three point something and also negative three point something. So this is not a function. Okay, now let's look at the next example, which is another parabola, but it's on its side. This is y squared minus x equals three. Again, not a function because if you go along the zero here, you got about one and three quarters for zero and zero also maps to negative one and three quarters. So it fails the vertical line test. Okay, what about sine? This is um, y equals sine of x, or f at x equals sine at x. We'll talk about function notation in the next video. Is this one a function? And the answer to that is yes, it is. Every member of the domain matches to one member of the range. And so this one is okay. And that's functions in five minutes.